thankful for all those helpers tonight. Well, coronavirus is impacting all of our lives, but for children with special needs, life in isolation can be even more challenging. Our Emma Lockhart spoke with a local family navigating this new reality. Emma is joining us now with how they are finding ways to cope. 11 year old Luis Reyes says he's struggling right now. He has physical disabilities and uses a wheelchair, but now during coronavirus, he says he is facing a whole new set of challenges. Life these days hasn't been easy for 11 year old Luis Reyes. I really miss going to the store. I, I miss seeing my friends at school. Reyes has faced plenty of adversity in his life. He has cerebral palsy and spina bifida. But life during a pandemic is impacting him differently. Sometimes I'll be fine one day and then the next day I'll just be crying nonstop, being just really rude and like not myself. While in isolation, he can't do the typical things that bring him joy. His mother, Paulina Serna, is now worried about his mental health. Anger, frustration, sadness, all those emotions just balled up into one and then it causes me to have that breakdown. Serna is a single mother of three. She's also being impacted, now taking on more responsibility with Reyes at home all day. He always needs someone to be there with him, assisting him with everything. But Serna is finding ways to cope by reaching out to other parents of children with special needs. One of the things that comforts me is that I'm not the only parent that's going through this. There are other parents. We can talk, we can problem solve together. Local counselor Katie Tiffany says now more than ever, it's also important for parents to practice self-care. If I'm not taking care of myself, then I can't take care of my family and I can't take care of my children. For now, Reyes finds his own comfort in knowing his mother will always be there for him. I feel like I'm very lucky to have my mom during this pandemic and lucky to have her every every day, no matter pandemic or no pandemic. And the Arizona Developmental Disabilities Planning Council is offering resources for families right now. You can find more information at ArizonaTogether.org. Reporting live in Phoenix, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family.